to do to help uh, in that kind of situation, but beautiful build from Dark. Now the map is Coda. Dark saying a bit of a sharp build or like a tooth build or something. Dream saying it was pretty harsh. Not really happy with that one. Still looking angry in the booth. We're gonna jump into game number two, guys. Coda, as you mentioned, Moonlade. Let's see if Dark can further his lead or is Dream gonna tie it up? They are in the lobby. Let's do it, guys, right now. Game number two on Coda. SK Telecom T1 Dark, Bam Young Woo versus SK Telecom T1 Dream, Jo Jo Hyun. Down here in the bottom right in the purple, our Zerg player getting a pretty cool build there and a win, and it was dark. Down here in the top, uh, up here in the top left, Dream, storm for a second. Quickest intros of all time, man. Yeah, now. we want to get this game under way, Valdez. Couldn't even get it out there. Not even worth it, man. We want to see action here. And unfortunately, this is Starcraft 2, and it takes a while. Mm. So wait a little bit longer. Yeah, just a little bit. For you guys who are watching, uh, definitely go ahead and tell your friends. Post it everywhere you can. We're getting some of the highest level StarCraft II action in Korea and in the world in these games tonight. Crowd giving an applause, making a supply deeper. Not really sure what that's about. <laughs> People are just happy, man. They're just yeah. happy to be here. I'm um, happy I'm here too, Minwood. Only comms left. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of true, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it actually is completely true. That's so funny. They're all SKT. Yeah. And all over the sign, there's just like Kong, Kong, Kong. <laughs> so mean. It's actually so mean. Yeah. Uh, CC first well, once I mean, again. At the same time, one of these Kongs is not going to be a Kong after tonight. Which Kong is going to be a king? That's the question here, Valdez. Who do you think? Inlaid. I think. Uh, well, I just don't know because Doc won the last game like that. Yeah. I still think it's going to be Dream. I was thinking it was going to be Dream, but I, I think it might be Dark. I think if Dark goes to the finals, I think he'll take it against Sue. Do you think? Because Sue's ZBZ is something else. So is Dark's. He only lost one series. He was 9 and 1 in ZBZ series before that 1 0 3 loss to Hyun, which he kind of. You know, underestimated Hyun and didn't really play well, was way too aggressive. Mm. I think after that series, he's really kind of thought about it a little bit more and he looked fantastic in the ZBZ series against BL. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, Hyun is really uh, underrated, I think, in a big way here in Korea. He ZBZ was, especially. He played like such a god. I was so impressed and so happy for him. CC first has been scouted. What is Doc's reaction this time around? That's the next question. Are we going to see more aggression? I think aggression might be the way against Dream because uh, if you recall when uh, Life played Dream in Kesper Cup, the first one, he pretty much just cheesed him out. Like He just dealt with him the, the easy way because yeah. Dream is the kind of Terran that's always going to go for that third CC and go for that heavy macro style with parade pushing. If you can kind of counteract that early enough, I think you're going to be in a great place as a Zerg player. Yeah, and, and Dark is another one of these Zergs that's not scared to do it. I mean, it's part of the reason why SKT was able to win uh, the Pro League Round 3 Grand Finals, uh, because he was able to do this against Maru on Cactus Valley. Mm. Same thing, you know, only a supply people wall of the natural. He just rolls in a ton of veins and kills him. That is absolutely true. And look at this Valdez of Roach Warren. Already put down. Looks like you yeah, are going to see similar sort of aggression from Doc once again. Gonna be nice and quick this time. No lair. Probably gonna be looking for a bailing nest after everything isn't said and done. Same time though, no Zergling speed on the way just yet. So it looks like it might be just some economic harass. It's gonna actually make like about eight roaches, go for that attack at the front, trying to sack as many SCVs as possible. And I think he should be able to get a decent amount of damage done, just looking at what Dream's going for. Another very fast 
Second CC only getting his factory up now. It's only going to be Hellions. He's only got two Marines out on the map. Present just oh, one. Man. And there's that third CC as well, yeah. See, this is another very greedy build we are seeing, and that Overlord sold the CC. Happiest Overlord. Happiest Dark, happiest Zerg. <laughs> happy Life, happy Zerg. Ten Roaches on the way. There are two Marines Ooh. out here. Two. Yeah, man. This is going to be a rough hold. Maybe I think he when this it. hits, he's going to have maybe four Hellions and two Marines with one bunker. I think so, and there's going to be no Banshee. Starport's still on the way, you know, it's not even finished yet. And we got 10 Roaches moving across the map. Let's see if these Hellions identify it, and if they do, can they get out alive? He's going to be running headfirst into them. They should be able to identify oh, it, but man. he's going to kill him. He's, he's going to get one. For it. Oh, one survives barely, one shot to go. What do you do now here? Desperately try to get out of Banshee, possibly? It's like some Marauder instead of Banshee. Ooh. Wow. I guess there's not enough time. No time at all. Not enough gas. It's going to repair up that Hellion as well. I guess everything matters at this point. A lot of SUVs are going to go down for this. Yep. He can just target. He's got enough uh, roaches here to kill so many SUVs. He is going for that bunker, though. He needs to take down more of these SUVs. SUVs microing back, but still so many roaches are left over. Yeah, so many is going down, and Drone's behind this as well, so Dark has a great follow-up if he doesn't actually get the kill here. 13 SUVs going down already. He must be able to kill him. <laughs> he's doing so much damage. If he can get this Marauder, I think he's got a good chance at that. A lot of them punching up, though, here, and the Hellions, even though they didn't do much damage, are uh, still going to do that splash. At the end of it all, though, 16 SUVs go down. I think the damage has been done, Valdez. He should yeah. be miles ahead at this point. Lair on the way, a few more roaches to help defend any sort of counterattack from the Hellions. And from here, just go into an easy, cruisy, muta style. And I think Doc will be in a very comfortable position. Yeah. I mean, Dream will have three CCs, but uh, going down to that small of a number of SUVs is never a position you want to be in as a turn. He's got these roaches here on the ramp. Ready to focus down any uh, Hellions here. Just got to be careful of that run by. That's what, uh, that's what the Hellions would be looking for at this point. And that's why we see a Medivac come across the map. He's going to go for that Hellion drop. Try and even up the odds here. After taking so much economic damage, want to give a little back. Let's see if Dark knows the reasons why those Hellions were going north. Let's see if he's got a read in it. Not yet. Nope. And these Hellions are going to get unloaded, undetected. Yeah, he's not going to see it at all. Oh. In the shadows. In the shadows come the Hellions. There's a Spore Crawler to possibly block, but poor Hellions still getting a decent split here. Decent split indeed. Not many going down just yet. Seven drones, not nearly as much damage as you would expect from a Hellion drop that got undetected. So Dream in a bit of an awkward place. Yeah. Looks like he's just going to try to sit back on two base for now. He's got the third orbital, we'll drop those mules, and uh, get the upgrades out as soon as possible. Defend against the Midas. It's really all he can do at this point. Double Evo down is a baneliness as well. This gives Dream a good idea of how behind the upgrades are compared to his. One one already on the way. And double Medivac. Could see a nice strong follow up from Dream. You know, uh, one thing that does take a uh, takes a lot of uh, wind out of your sails when you're going for these techs early enough as well. Muter's tech is obviously going to be a lot slower than it should be, so dropping can do a lot of work. That it can. He's confident enough here to drop down the third orbital now and start mining from that. Ling over here looking for that scout, maybe on where that third base would be, but it's in the middle here. He does scout it. Seven meters on the way. Not focusing on droning up just yet, though. There we go, some drones and some links. Only gets the plus one attack here. No armor, delaying that for a bit. Yeah, that's kind of interesting, actually. Wants to get out of the Bane Link speed first. Much better choice, actually. I, I completely agree with him there. <laughs> Getting rid of this bunker would help out a lot as well. What's gonna happen there? Going for the main base. Not much in the main there. Actually, this drop got jumped on top of. You just to deal with those Marines. Yeah. Just going for economic harass here. Going to get as many SUVs as possible. Now we no move turrets. over here before there's no turrets. Ooh, big oversight actually from uh, from Dream here. He's taking a lot of SUV damage behind this. Vita's just flying in and out. There's not even that many Marines. He's forcing so many stims too. 
Yeah, if he got a couple more stims, he could actually just start head to head these, these uh, Marines. And whilst it's all happening, obviously droning behind this in a pretty dominant place in terms of economy right now. Look at this micro, just oh, using the bounce man. damage off the supply bebo. Bouncing Glaive's doing work here. Marines actually running low at this point, loses a supply depot and the losses of Marines. He's doing so much damage. The value of these mutas is ridiculous right now. It doesn't look like he's done yet. The mute is still back here. They're looking for more damage. Just gonna fly over here, try to get the balance damage off the gas this time. I'm just gonna fly out. Sue back at home, as you were mentioning, droning up pretty hard. He's gonna get his own fourth base and even a macro hatch. And we're just gonna transition into a bit of a macro game. Sue so would definitely do the same, Valdez. This time they're dark. Oh, did I see Sue? I didn't even realize. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. They're on the same team. It's actually, they're essentially the same person. I don't know. They literally are. They play the same way at this point. No Roach, uh, no Ling Bane Roach like we usually see from Dark. Oh, that, that Widowmine is so smart against Dark. Dark always does this. He does. And here we go. That's a pretty inferior armor, actually. If we actually saw the Ling Bane go on top of this, he would crush it. Oh, and there it is. The Money Mine. A nice little drop over here at the same time. A gigantic pull at the third base. Where are the units? Finally, they come over here. Better defend from two angles here. Scared of that push in the middle as well as that drop behind. Got to be careful how he juggles his units. And Dream's got momentum now. He's starting to bring in that uh, parade push across the map. Dark is looking to kind of cut this off at the head there. If he gets rid of one drop, then he only has to worry about one angle. And that was a waste of Banelings, Valdez. So many Banelings going down for barely any damage. He gets rid of these mines though, not focusing on it though, instead picks him up, and now the Zerg army's kind of in an awkward place. Ooh, and he triggers those two mines mm -hmm. with only nice. like two lanes. Really nice positioning from Doc. He's gonna try and cut this off now. More Marines coming down. He's gotta be careful not to extend too far, especially off this creep. You know, once again, we saw this in the series between Dark and Fantasy in those big macro games. He is so good at setting off the mines without taking barely any damage. Yeah, he is. All the time. So damn good when it comes to the, these, these drawn out macro games, where there's like a lot of pressure, but he can still somehow grind through it and keep the injects going. He's one of those few Zergs that can actually just keep it up, keep the pace up, which is a lot of the way how Terrans win these games is they just keep applying pressure and Zergs gonna get caught off guard, they get caught up in these drops and they, they stop macroing as well as they could. Yep. And look at this, the second Dark has given any room to breathe, he comes in with his Mitas, Thank you very much. Two free Widow Mines, a bunch of nice little scrumptious Marines. He's going to get more and more here, yeah. going for add-ons. Oh, he's doing so much damage here. Empty bunker. If he didn't stop the, the drilling floors as well, that would be such an advantage because that gets so tricky when they are in play. He just bought himself so much space there. It's like a minute and a half at the Terran not putting on any pressure. And finally, now he's going to push. Uh, Dark's on 82 drones. He's got a million Banes pushing through now. Literally a million right now, down to about 900,000, but he's going to go for more here. <laughs> more Ling Bane running in, but beautiful splits actually from Dream. Yeah, really nice. You know, as good as Dark is at fighting these head-on engagements, Dream is just as good. He's getting some nice trades in the Mutas now. A little too split out of these Marines. They're not going to be finding a good fight against the Mutas. That Muta Ball is big enough to fight the Marines pretty uh, cost efficiently now. Yep. Waiting for our Banes is dark here, and now he's going to push off the creep, triggering that one Widowmine once again, not getting too much damage. He's going to be careful. He's going to have to engage off creep if he wants to clean his army up, so he's going to look for that perfect engagement. Waiting for more, uh, more links to come out, more Mutas, as well as that huge counterattack. That's pretty big. That's beautiful, actually. Great decision making. He wants to you know, pull a lot of that pressure off here, force those reinforcements oh, wow. back. He actually got rid of most of the mines with that. Cost a lot of Banes, but would have lost more. And oh, he can get a Thor. Man. He's just going to go straight into the main, though. And I guess this will do. He's going to get both Mineral Lines. It's going to completely put Dream out of position here. He's going to be focusing on defending. Look at how, how many links are in both of those bases. Keep a, keep a look-see on how many SUVs go down right now. Yeah, the numbers could get pretty high, especially in that natural. Everything going down. Main base completely undefended as well. He's doing way too much damage. This counterattack is, is up to 40 drones or 40 SUVs now. More going down as well. He's getting out of hand, Valdez. Not much of an army down here either. Might be looking for the cleanup here. You gotta be careful. There's one widow mine fighting the oh. hit. Oh man. Oh, I almost threw up, man. Yeah, that was gross, but 
still enough after all. More reinforcements coming. Got to make sure he's got enough bailings at home before his stim comes in. That, that is true, but the economy here of Dream, not in the best place right now. 35 SCVs. Everything in Campbell. Dream has to do damage with this attack. I'm not sure if he's going to have enough now. So many more lings being made. Bailings are hatching as well. Here we go. He's got a last stand, a last attack for Dream, I think, before he taps out. Everything gets totally cleaned up. One awkward throw is going to be picked up and moved back to the third base. And only now does he get his 3-3. Dark is going to secure five bases. He's totally set. He's had 82 drones for so, so long. Yeah, his economy has not been touched. He has been in such a dominant state since that, uh, you know, since he defended that first drop. You know, he, he held on. His macro once again has been flawless in this kind of situation. Yeah, it's all about those things that you don't see at times as well. Just every single inject being hit. It's such a hard thing to do when you're, you're constantly fighting a parade push. Really flaws. How refined his uh, macro is, is is something else. Dream trying to be overly efficient here. Super spread out once again. A huge cloud of meters still in the sky. Yeah, just no bailings, to, uh, sorry, no mines to help out. You really need some, some heavy AoE if you want to deal with this composition properly. There's a couple. But it's not enough Marines at this point either. Once again, fantastic Thor Micro here from Dream, but... Oh, Muta's got to be careful. They are taking a lot of damage. More Marines coming in. A little bit of an ambitious move there from Dark. Mm. Kind of resets the Muta count. He went from 18 to 9 Mutas. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful. Sometimes Zerg players can overlook how many Lings and Banes they have on the ground when the Mutas are going, uh, getting micro. Keep in mind, 3-3 is done now in every single one of these attacks. A little bit more cost position here. Still a lot of balls, and the m, m are actually doing a lot of work. The Bailing's cleaning up a lot. More being kind of streamed in there. So Dream's got to be careful about this. He's fighting off creep right now. And so many more meters from down. He's only got three now. Only three left, making three more. He has so much gas, but he's just been completely investing in minerals for the Ling Bane uh, for so long. And now he's actually pulling his drones. Uh oh. The How is Dream making this work? Great push, man. When 3-3 when three, three comes online, it just gets that much harder for Zerg to deal with this in the late game. Yep. Really got to um, keep an eye on Dream's Thor Micro at the same time. He keeps him alive for so long. It's part of the reason why these Mutas are going down. Of course, part of it is Dark overcommitting with the Mutas, but... Yeah, well, each time he fights off creep like this in the middle of the map, it's, it's certainly a disadvantageous sort of positioning and fight. The Marines are that much more uh, cost efficient, especially if they're split up, as well as if they have 3-3. Three, three. Drops down bottom left, actually going to do a lot of work, but man, another huge run by. He's getting a run ton by. of damage there. Counterattack. That drop is going to force a big drone pull at the same time. Force the units to go down there. Ooh. Dream at the same time going for that fourth base in the middle of the map. He's going to take that out. Uh, almost got the Atri. It's a little bit trickier now for Dog. He does have a good uh, position in the bottom left base, and he does have nice creep thread around it, so he can deal with it. Uh, any sort of attack that might come that way. But now that fourth base is going down for Dream, things get kind of extended by a long way. Terran has an extra five minutes of life in this game. He's going to be mining with that upgrade advantage. Same level of mining, mind you. Banning could help out a little bit, but there are mines waiting. Dream is always prepared. You just still out on the map here, being a bit of a headache for Dream, forcing Whoa. him to come back. Careful now. Here we go. Nice lead with one of the bailings, and everything's gonna get wiped out here. Almost. Huge hits. Almost. Ten SCVs and a couple of mules. That's almost everything at this point, man. Dream's down to 26 SCVs. Oh, you got the hatchery in the bottom left as well. Link Bane out of position here. Oh, oh man. There are all the drones running away. Doing so, so much damage here. He's Dream with just a small amount of uh, Marines here. 12 drones going down for that. Economic advantage in favor of Dream now. And that is a scary army to deal with. Yeah, it really is. Uh, Dark never made any transition. Yeah, I don't even think he has an infestation pit at this point. He's going very... Heavy ground army, tons of mutas, tons of banes as well. Yeah, he's just fully committed to this at this point. He's 
He shouldn't engage here. He's got to be careful with his Ling Bane. That is a bad place to fight a Terran. Now his uh, new fourth base under siege once again. <laughs> and he dropped to the main. Dream man. He is, his multitasking is so on point right, on point right now. He's going to yeah. lose his uh, meta back as I say that, but right. attacking from three different positions at this point in time. This is the scary point as well. This is a very, very scary point. He's got to keep his base alive or he just simply loses the game. Going to get those splits up. Not many winning minds in this composition, surprisingly. And Bailing getting a few hits, actually. Doing decently, but also the splits here from Dream. Pretty nice. And a huge block of meters. There's only two Thors left over. And one almost gets killed. A lot of links to clean this up. He's got to get these Thors out of here. He needs it as part of his composition. Oh, the boost expires here, but so many more Marines coming out. They're going to push the Mutas back once again. So back and forth right now in this game. It's such an intense battle. I can't imagine how these guys play in the team house just time and time again, grinding out games, these sick TVZ macro games. Down oh, goes the oh, hatchery. Oh, oh. This is a big move. This puts Dream up a base at this point of the game. It's going to resume mining from the bottom left now that it's being rebuilt again. So yeah, Dark is staying in, in this. <laughs> oh, man. Dark lost his spawning pool amongst that as well. Oh, uh, what? Now that slows everything down. That it does. He's going to try to be very active with his mutas at the same time. Try to push it back because he can't make any more links right now. Well, this is a sick defense as well. He's going to wait for that overseer to get rid of these mines. But man, that is two bunkers. But also 29 mutas here. Slowly picking away at all the defenses. Four marines not going to be enough. Oh, drop down here to the center. Yeah. There's a drop in the center. There's a drop coming to the middle at the same time. But... Bunker does go down. He's going to try to deal with it here with a bunch of Ling Bane. Good pick up. Good defense. This base has to go down there. No canceling it. Too busy microing. Yep. Too many places on the map at the same time. Finding some value there. Going to force out the rest of them to drop. Yep. Too busy defending. Vita's coming home. Another drop into the natural this time. Interesting place to drop considering it's empty, but if you find the right tech, yeah. kind of really makes up the zag. Ooh. Oh, there, there was some creep over there. Not anymore. Going to clean this up finally. Town of Kays. Looks like we are going to see another attack in the bottom left, but that army is getting kind of small, yeah. and I don't think there's enough Widow Mines to really be worth it. Two Widow Mines right now. I didn't even think they're with the army, though. It's a scary thing. Dark's like running through with some links. He's like, where's your army? What what do you have? Oh, I think you just find the top right base. It just goes down. No doubt about that. Oh, SCVs are transferring. He knows. He knows. He gives it away. Fantastic timing. Yeah. Now he's going to clean that up. And that is a huge move as well. With this many mutas, just no chance that stays alive. Dream's going to have to think of something else. Yeah. Give it 10 seconds. Down it goes. And he's going to go for a gigantic drop. He has to take out this hatchery, but Dark, it looks like he's on top of it finally this time. Yeah, he's on top of it. He's not going to be losing that hatchery anytime soon. Might lose a few drones for it there. Completely worth it there. He's just going to come back, and this drop's gone. And, and I think Dream is just too far behind in supply at this point. It's looking like it. He's trying to desperately hold on for so long, but oh, look at this. Very smart. Nita Flock comes back. He's going to clean up all the medevacs and all those Marines. 50 supply lead now for Dark at this point. He's stabilized. He's got his fifth up and running. It's saturated. Everything is looking good. The creep spread is just perfect for uh, where he has to defend as well. Yeah. This is part of the reason why Dark is so strong in this ZVT matchup. His macro game, his straight up, you know, ZVT is just so strong. And he can mix in any kind of aggressive build at any point in the series. And here we go again. I think this time must be the last stand for Dream. Only two with a mines, Nate. Only two with a mine. And they're so low already. Here come the links. Wood of mine shots will be good, but oh, yeah. doesn't look like it'll matter too much. GG. Dark. Crazy game there. And he will take it. Really powerful macro style from Dark. I am so impressed. It's what we come to expect from him, especially after that series against Fantasy. He has some of the best macro we have to say, we, have to, we ever see. It usually comes from the SKT Terran's uh, players as well. Yeah. Both the Terran player, Dream, as well as the two Zergs, Sue and Dark. Their macro is just on another level. Yeah. 
I mean, you, you look even at classic Protoss player. His macro is also really strong. Um, but yeah, Dream not in the best spot here. He may, he may not even have a chance to be a Kong tonight. No, man. It's going to be a semi-final Dong. <laughs> Good one, Wing Lay. We're, we're going to a three-minute break, guys. When we come back, game number three.